Is it permissible for a Muslim woman to decide never to get married? Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Ahu alhamdul hasan wa thanao al jameel Wa ashadu an la ilaha illallah wa ahadahu la sharika lah Yaqoolu al haqqa wa huwa yadi sabiil Wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasooluh Sallallahu alayhi wa ala alihi wa ashabihi Wa attabi'in lahum bi ihsanin ila yawm al-deen amma ba'd In response to your question uh, The people are uh, three types when it comes to marriage The first type is a person who's scared for himself He's scared that he might fall into haram if he leaves off marriage. If he doesn't get married, he's scared or she's scared that they might fall into haram. Okay, this individual, male or female, if they have the ability to get married. Islamically, it is obligatory on them to get married. And this is the view of the overwhelming majority of scholars. Okay, because it is a must for a person uh, to protect themselves from haram. And the path for protecting yourself from haram in this situation is marriage. So then the marriage becomes obligatory. The second uh, type of uh, people are those people who have desires, but they are able to protect their, 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 their desires. They have control over it. This category, it is recommended for them to get married. It's not an obligation. It's recommended for them uh, to get married. And this is the view of a large number of scholars uh, and also a large number of the companions. Um, Sa'id ibn Jubaydin, for example, he mentions that Ibn Abbas said to me, Hal tazawajt? Yani, ibn Abbas said to Sa'id ibn Jubair, have you, have, you, have, you, have you married yet? And Sa'id ibn Jubaydin said, no. And Abdullah ibn Abbas said to him, فتزوج, go and get married. فَإِنَّ خَيْرَ هَذِهِ الْأُمَّةِ أَكْثَرُهَا نِسَاءً The best of this ummah is the one who marries more. You see? So getting married is something virtuous. It's a good deed. And that uh, Athar Bukhari narrated it uh, in his Sahih. Also Ibrahim ibn Maysara, he mentions, he said that Tawus ibn Kaysan said to him, he said to him, you will get married. Or I will say to you that which Umar said to Abi Zawait. What is it that he said to him? He said to him, The only thing that's stopping you from getting married is Ajzun, you're weak, incompetent, O Fujurun, or you're a person who is doing, he's up to something bad. Amar was a statement he said, right? So Tawus ibn Kaysan was very strong and strict on it. Get married, he said to him. It's recommended for the person who has desires Who's, even, who's, who's able to protect his, yani, himself, but has the desires, it's recommended for them to get married, highly recommended for them to get married. The third type is one who doesn't have no desires whatsoever. The scholars dispute one another. Is it recommended for this person or is it best for him to leave it off? Scholars have, some scholars, they say it is recommended for him to still get married because of the general text that you find in the Quran and the Sunnah that encourages marriage. And a group of scholars, they say, no, it's best uh, to leave it off if he has no desires or she has no desires whatsoever. Because masalih nikah the benefits that are in marriage may not happen from this because the person doesn't have no desires whatsoever. So the man, for example, he might harm his wife if he doesn't have the desires at all. He might harm her by not fulfilling her needs. Or the, uh, the opposite is true. If the uh, wife has no desires whatsoever, and the husband does, she might be a problem uh, and an obstacle uh, to him fulfilling his desires. And so here there they might come from it an issue. So some of the fuqaha said it is best maybe for that person to not get uh, married. Uh, this is اختصار in shadid, summarized uh, manner, in which category a person can fall into, inshallah ta'ala. So you look at which of those categories that you might fall into, and inshallah ta'ala, the answer will be there being in the Al-Kareem. Subhanakallahumma bihamdih. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruka wa tubu ilayh.